Hello everyone, today's menu will be bacon cheeseburger egg rolls. These are crispy, savory, and just darn delicious. So, if you're ready, let's get cooking. Over medium high heat, I'm going to add in the bacon slices. I'm going to cook this until the bacon's are nice and golden brown and flipping it in between cooking time. Bacon is nice and golden brown. I'm going to remove them and place them onto a paper uh, plate lined with paper towel. Over medium high heat, I did remove uh, the bacon grease by reserve two tablespoons, and I'm going to add in the ground beef. I'm just going to go in and break it up. And if your meat is nice and fatty, you don't need to add the bacon grease. I just add bacon grease to mine because my meat was a little leaner. And then once it's nice and um, broken down, I'm going to add in the onion. And this is some chopped onions. And then I'm just going to give it a stir. And then I'm just going to cook this for about eight minutes. After a good couple minutes, I'm going to add in the garlic. And then I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And I'm just going to cook this for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I'm going to add in some cayenne pepper and some garlic powder along with some salt and then some freshly cracked black pepper. And then I'm just going to give this a stir to combine everything well. And then I'm going to cook this for another 30 seconds. And then you are going to want to taste for seasoning. But for me, this is perfect. And then you are going to want to drain any excess oil. Okay, and then here I have some um, sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm just going to shred them. You can use whatever cheese you prefer, but what makes it a cheeseburger is the cheese. The sharp cheddar cheese and I did let it thaw at room temperature for at least a couple minutes just to make it easier to um, shred if you shred it right away when it's like cold out of the refrigerator it does get a little bit harder to shred and you don't want to leave it out too long because it'll be too soft to shred and then here I have the cooked bacon and I'm just going to uh, chop them up into pieces Okay, this looks good. Okay, in my meat mixture, I'm going to add in some sweet radish. Along with some cheese. And this is one cup of sharp shredded cheese. And then I'm going to also add in the bacon. And then I'm just going to give them all a nice stir to combine everything well. This smells and looks amazing. This looks good. And I'm going to set this aside while I work on the egg wrappers. Okay, this is the egg wrappers that I'm using. Um, you guys can go ahead and use, you know, whichever wrappers you guys prefer. Um, you guys can even use um, long tongue wrappers too. But this is just the wrapper that I prefer. And um, they are sticky to each other so I'm just going to slowly pull them um, apart from each other and you want to be careful you want to um, rip it but if you do that's fine it's not a big problem but it's best to just kind of go slow and work your way 
So, just like that. And I'm just going to place this to the side. And then just continue with my next one. Okay, now we're going to start getting ready to uh, start rolling these egg rolls. I'm just going to grab one sheet and I'm just going to place a wrapper right into the um, right onto a cutting board and as you can see I flip it into a um, diamond shape and then I'm just going to grab <coughs> excuse me, a couple tablespoons of the meat mixture and I think I'm going to do about three tablespoons and then I'm placing it right into the center but more toward me not right in the center but toward me and then I'm going to grab some of the shredded cheese just right on top to make it a little bit more cheesier yum and then I'm going to roll it tucking it in and then just keep rolling it toward the middle and then from here I'm going to grab one edge fold it over same thing with the other side and then this part right here, you can go ahead and just roll it up. But for me, I'm going to fold it in a little bit. And then I'm just going to fold it all the way up. And then once I get to this part, I'm going to add some egg yolk and just seal it. And then finish it off again, just like this. And then you just want to continue with the process until you have no more meat mixture or no more wrappers. But I was able to, um, with three tablespoons per egg rolls, I was able to finish all of them without no leftovers. When your oil is nice and hot, I'm going to place in my egg rolls. And I'm gonna do about probably six of them at a time. And then I'm going to cook this for about 10 to 13 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, after they're all nice and cooked through and golden brown, I'm just going to drain them with the excess oil. And then I'm going to place it onto a strainer with paper towel. And then I'm just gonna go in and continue the process. Here is the end results of the bacon cheeseburger egg rolls. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. The measurements are in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.